For a while now, on and off, I've been working on this electric vehicle controller project. Let me give you a tour. This is the controller board. It's complete with input debouncing, noise protection, its own power supply so it'll run off of any voltage your automobile happens to be giving it. It has gate drivers here which drive a, are capable of driving a very large output stage. It's got current mode and voltage mode feedback so you can run permanent magnet, series wound, whatever kind of motor you want. Here's my power supply. Right now I'm using a bench supply instead of a car battery, of course. I've got an isolation transformer so I can put in 120 volts AC. Rectifier makes 160 DC. I've got a filter capacitor in here. Snubber, reaction diode, IGBT. This is just a buck converter. Shunt resistor on the ground return. The high side goes to a filter inductor motor. This is a permanent magnet motor. And it goes back to a load slash shunt resistor. And this is the shunt resistor that the circuit is using. Right now I have the high voltage on. Let's turn on the battery. This means power. This means it's ready to go. This means it's running. It's not running yet. This is the start button. There's throttle. I can run it at low throttle and don't really do this. Since it's current limited and it's running at low current, it's practically constant torque, so it's really easy to stop at this level. Just a little more, it becomes a lot harder. And when it starts revving up to full speed, I'm not even going to bother trying to stop it, that would hurt. I've got an RPM limit in here, so when I turn it on, and the throttle is right now set to current, so when I drive current into this with no load, it basically just spools up as far as it can go. I want to put an RPM limit on that, so I have a tachometer. This feeds back to the RPM limit. I have a trim pot over here that controls the limit. Let's try playing with that and see what it does. Here you can see the output waveform. 